Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord as one community. And we beg for the grace that we may truly desire to get closer to Jesus. And so let us acknowledge her sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that the bringer of your salvation who for the world's redemption came forth with newness of heavenly light, may dawn afresh in our hearts and bring us constant renewal. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, 
the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for the joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, what are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother, Simon, and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. What makes us curious? Ano ho bang nagpapakiliti sa isipan natin para alamin ang mga bagay-bagay? For some, it will just be plain interest. Ay, minsan, sadyang chismoso o chismosa lang ang isang tao, kaya gusto nilang malaman ng mga bagay-bagay, lalo na kung kwento ng ibang tao. For some, it sparks their interest because they will gain more knowledge from it. If it is something that would give them general information or a history of certain things, events, or even persons themselves. In our Gospel, we, too, we hear two disciples of Jesus following Him 
not because they were already disciples, but simply because of interest. Kaya nga nung makita sila ni Jesus, ang tanong agad ni Jesus sa kanila, ano bang kailangan ninyo? Anong hinahanap nyo? What are you looking for? And when they answered, Where are you staying, teacher? It is not just to tickle their interest. There is that desire to become close to Jesus. Hindi lang nila basta inaalam kung saan nakatira si Jesus, pero nais nilang makita yung tinutuloyan ni Jesus. Hindi ba kapag may nagtatanong sa atin kung saan tayo nakatira, madalas ang ibinibigay lang nating impormasyon ay kung anong bayan, kung saan bayan tayo nakatira. Hindi natin binibigay yung buo nating address, lalo na kung hindi natin kilala yung tao. Pero para sa mga malalapit sa atin, maaring hindi nila alam yung address natin, pero alam nila kung paano puntahan yung bahay natin. Alam nila kung paano puntahan yung tinutuloyan natin. And that was what the two disciples were interested, were, were interested in. They did not simply wish to know where Jesus was staying, but they wanted to know how to get there. And when Jesus gave in to their request, He simply said, Come and see. The two disciples wanted to get, wanted to, get to close to Jesus, And in turn, Jesus also wanted to be close to them. And for sure, that is also our desire. To be close to Jesus. Sino ba sa atin yung ayaw mapalapit kay Jesus? That's why we Filipinos love to touch the images of the Lord, the images of the Blessed Mother and of the Saints. Pakiramdam natin kapag gumahawak tayo sa mga imahe nila, napapalapit tayo sa kanila. That is also the desire of Jesus for us, to be close to Him. And if it is our desire to be closer to Jesus, then the farther we should be from sin. Habang inilalapit natin yung ating sarili sa Diyos, habang inilalapit natin yung sarili natin kay Jesus, sana inilalayo din natin yung ating sarili sa kasalanan. And that is what our first reading would remind us. That if we are of God, then sin has no place in us. If sin has no place in, if sin has no place in us, then we abhor it. We do not showcase it. Hindi natin pinagmamayabang ang kasalanan. Dahil bilang Kristiyano, hindi natin gawain ipagmayabang ang pagkakamali. Hindi natin gawain ang ipagmayabang ang kasalanan, kundi tinatakwil at tinatalak, tinatalikuran natin ang kasalanan. But if time comes that we find ourselves committing sin, then hopefully let us not lose that desire to be closer to Jesus. Sin already separates us from Jesus. But it is a greater tragedy if we find ourselves losing that desire to be closer to Him. This is the mystery of Christmas. God becoming man so that He can be closer to us. Diyos na ang lumalapit sa atin. Sana hindi tayo ang lalayo sa Diyos. Please stand. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every intention, He will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may continue to call women and men of faith to serve as ministers in our local church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that our families and friends may respond fully to the call of our baptism and accept the grace to remain open to God's call to service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That young people may persevere in hope, trusting in God's faithfulness to them as they search for deeper meaning in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may realize that God's work is being done in the circumstances of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the dead may rest in peace in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people who are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. God, our Creator, we thank you for the blessings of this day. Let our trust in you be manifested in our lives that we may be free to respond to you with full hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and answered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Word made flesh. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both and now, both now and in the future, the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tonight we join the Nuestra Señora del Santísimo Rosario de Hagonay Parish in Hagonay, Bulacan, who will lead us in praying the healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 in the evening. You may join us in praying the Holy Rosary through our social media platforms. Sama-sama po tayong magdasal para sa patuloy po nakagalingan ng buong mundo. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh